What is good everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are back covering something that I have to discuss, man. I think it was one of the biggest things that we saw out of San Diego Comic Con week and weekend. I think that it was huge news. It was definitely huge news and I wanted to make a video about it. And I was going to do it where I sit down in front of the camera and we kind of discuss it and talk about it and get into everything. But I wanted to do a voiceover because I'm still recovering from my sickness, whatever the hell it is. You can probably still hear it in my voice a little bit. I'm very congested. I still feel like no, I don't feel like garbage. I'm not going to sit here and say I feel like garbage, but I'm still recovering. I'm in the process of moving, so it's a bunch of moving parts, and so I really didn't want to be in front of the camera. So I hope you all just, just bear with me. Stay intact, man. Let's dive into these things and discuss it, man. If you guys were unaware, at Comic-Con, one of the biggest things that was talked about or discussed had its very own display with this massive poster. It was very epic. It was the WWE Basic Action Figures, the longest-running action figure series from Mattel and WWE. It has the most sets. It's got a lucrative history. Everybody knows it. I think everybody that's ever collected wrestling action figures probably at least owns one WWE basic. You know what I'm saying? You go to any garage sale in the in the United States of America, there's going to be a WWE basic figure there, man. You know what I'm saying? There's just going to be basics. If you cleaned out your entire house, you're going to find a basic just somewhere random. Under a couch, under a cushion, in a drawer, or maybe I'm just mentally ill. But seriously though, I, am I right or am I right? You guys can let me know down below, man. But we are introduced to this new era of WWE basic figures. And you guys know that for a long time, we used to pick on basics here on the channel. Back in the day, basics used to mean something, man. Like Series 1 through about Series 76. Basics were okay, man. Even the, the, the battle packs and the different stuff, they used to have the arm articulation and the boot rotation, and everybody enjoyed basics. They were a nice little addition to your collections. You didn't want all the full details of an articulated crazy man. You could easily buy the basic, use it as a statue, put it in there, pair it with some accessories and it would work great for a little display piece well then here came basic series 77 i think it was basic series 77 i made a whole video on this talking about it on the channel definitely go check that out if you guys have never seen that video it details the entire basic debacle and talks about the basic series that kind of changed the landscape of wwe action figures and that video kind of is what inspired this video because we're getting into a brand new era where it's going to be the same thing it's going to be the basic series that changed it all again and maybe we'll have a sit down video like this or similar to that one day but I just I couldn't do it today Brad I I look like I have been set on fire but nonetheless man we are getting into the new basics I think it's basic series 141 is the new set in which this new basic articulation of this new era of basics is upon us basic series 141 I think is where it starts and it's kind of crazy it's almost 77 series later it's not completely you know it's not completely halfway but it's very close about 70 series or so from the last time they changed basic. So I guess, it, you know, basic series 200, maybe they'll change something else. But this new line of basic figures, man, we're no longer looking at the stiffness, the statue-like non-movement of basic action figures as we've come to know, man. I have to I've torn apart basics for years. Now, the deco and stuff like that it still remains to be seen. You know, the women's figures, I think, struggle the most when it comes to deco and stuff like that. Like, looking at this Bianca Belair figure, this new Bianca Bianca Belair. It's a little bit weird, right? Like, the deco is is pretty, like, stagnant. It just looks kind of flat, lacks dimension, things like that. But being able to move the figure around is such a huge bonus. And also, this just allows so much better stuff for, for the future, man. Because, as you guys know, used to be the basic figures were, like I said, they were pretty fun to pose around, stuff like that. And then we entered that new era where they got rid of the ankle articulation. You can no longer bend the foot down, which you still can't on these either. But I have owned a few action figures in my life. or I, I don't know about a few. I've probably owned like 20 to 30, maybe even more. I don't know. But, you know, they're just like little knick-knack figures that you find. Usually like kids' toys or something like that. You'll pick them up and like... They're probably smaller in stature. They're probably like a 3.75 inch or something like that. Kind of a smaller stature. And they probably have similar articulation to what we're seeing here on these figures. Where they have like kind of a ball joint. They have like a single jointed knee. They have ball joints at the shoulders. And then they can articulate a little bit. And they're pretty fun to like roam around and like pose around. They're actually like quite enjoyable. Like you're not going to get some crazy five star classic out of them. But you can pose them around. Like I know my son has some little like DC figures. He has some little Marvel figures and stuff like that. That we've bought in like five and six packs 
packs that are like just these smaller figures, but they're actually quite fun to pose around. They're kind of like pleasing just to pick up and pose around. You're like, damn, this is actually kind of unique. It's not the most detailed like an Elite. It's not crazy over the top like an Ultimate, but I'm getting some enjoyment out of this. And then you increase that size to about the six, seven inch scale, and then you pair a couple of accessories with it, and you find yourself picking it up and posing it and putting some accessories on it. You're like, damn, this is a pretty decent little adventure for 10 bucks at the store. That's not bad, man. I think this is actually quite groundbreaking, and I think this is going to lead to a lot of people jumping into basics more often than not, because I know a, lo a lot of the times back in the day, people used to pick up basics all the time, just like I said, for, you know, a little statue here, a little fix up there, throw a shirt on it here, a little weapon accessory, things like that, and you could really complete a figure, especially like suited figures, man. I think this is going to really increase the suited figures. Now, I think they're still a little bit jacked, you know, we've talked about that ad nauseum for years on the channel, about how they kind of lack a slim body suited figure. I still think they kind of lack Lack that I think we need a newly sculpted slim suited figure same thing with the elites there just needs to be a, a better suited body for slimmer guys similar to like AEW and Jazzwares but that's a bridge we can cross at a later date. For now on the basics, I still think this added articulation is going to just give us such more, like, enjoyment as a, as a figure collector, man. Especially when it comes to the suited figures, because you guys know that when you had the suited figures on the old basics, it was okay. But then you had, like, the new basics, like the JBL one that they released. I mean, it's been years ago now, but when it first released, like, the hips are so damn stiff. If you tried to just bend the knee, it would, like, want to snap in half. The feet were such, like, such statues. Like, if you tried to stand the figure up it couldn't even stand up it would fall over flat on its face so i think there's just so many good redeeming qualities about these basic figures man i'm looking forward to these so much just uh having them in hand and i think that we're gonna have to get we're gonna have to do a full-fledged review on these i don't know if i'm gonna do the full basic set or what i'm gonna do here but we're definitely gonna be di we're gonna be dabbling in some basics for sure on the channel man like i think i'm definitely gonna be dabbling in it i think some of the mvps of these basics i like the la knight they showed off i don't like top dollar but that was a pretty cool basic we had the triple h from like 2002 was really sweet in the jogging pants you had the logan paul basic that was cool you had the stone cold steve austin from 2001 now i did want you know, an Elite 2001 Stone Cold Steve Austin, but, uh, I mean, it's serviceable, right? If you're not a freak collector like me, you see that Austin at the store, you buy that, you put the removable watch on it, put a WWF championship, and people are okay with that, you know? And that's just the way it is. You got that throwback Hogan in there. I mean, dude, there's some really cool basics here. The white-suited Seth Rollins, and that does look to be a newly suited mold, and it does look a little... I think it does look better than it did previously. And, I mean, this isn't the best image of all time, right? Like, I think once we see it at different angles, maybe it is a little bit slimmer, but I'm just giving you my reaction here as I'm going through the images, of course. But I think we got some pretty damn good basics here, man. You guys can see, like, the Brock Lesnar with the F5 on that Roman Reigns. Those are two basic figures, man. If you were to do that with the old basics, you wouldn't have even been able to do close to that. It would look so stiff. It would look so lifeless. And now here, you guys can see here, it just adds so much more flow. It just looks so much better, man. It's unbelievable what kind of stuff they're doing with these basics now and what can kind of be determined for the future when we look at basic action figures, man. So I think these new basics and the way they're being designed and stuff like that is really going to heavily influence looks people to pick up basics because I you know I'll dabble like I said I used to dabble in basics and then once they made that switch the only reason I was buying a basic is for knee pads and head sculpts we used to say it all the time it was like a thing on the channel but knee pads and head sculpts that's what we buy basics for well now Brad I might pick up a basic just to chill him over there you know and just put him up there because like if I can find some enjoyment out of the figure I will grab a figure like I don't want a little stiff statue with like no deco on it so I think this is really impressive and also one thing that's awesome about these is the the hands are interchangeable, just like the Elites. The heads are interchangeable, just like the Elites and Ultimates. So, now you can switch out those head sculpts relative ease. I know the, the days are numbered for the white trusty hair dryer. Of course, we're still going to be swapping like old head sculpts and different old parts and stuff like that. They're not completely interchangeable, so he's still got a job. But I know that he's looking over his shoulder at the thing that could replace him at the next possible instant. But these basics are really insane. And I, I want to run through them real quick and just kind of break them down a little bit. And just kind of discuss some of the stuff we saw here. And just start things off 
with the Brock Lesnar figure. Now, we discussed this, the, the yelling expression. This one's okay. You know, I, I, it's a very weird render image. I don't really want to... Apparently, this is a two-pack with Bobby Lashley in the white gear. And both of these look great. The Bobby Lashley looks sick as hell. I, I actually may be grabbing this one, especially depending on how good that Brock Lesnar screaming head sculpt looks. The Bobby Lashley is sick as hell. I wanted that in elite figure form, but I guess I'm just going to have to roll with the championship showdown. Bare, you know, more articulated basic figure for now, but we will see about that. We also had Logan Paul and Roman Reigns. We saw this one in the ring. Looks pretty good. You know, they're just standard. I don't know if I'll be grabbing this. We'll see about that. We'll have to, you know, cross that bridge when we come to it. I already have the ultimate Logan Paul. If this is a street gear Logan Paul, maybe, I don't know if I need, like, this version of Logan Paul in a championship showdown pack. We also had Austin and Triple H, which is very cool. This badass, like, end of 2001 style Triple H and Stone Cold Steve Austin. This is very cool. I like this battle pack right here. You guys know they, they truly kill it with the throwback championship showdown packs, but I like this one. I don't know if I'll grab it. We will have to see, but they look good in... They looked good being posed around in the little case there, though. We also have AJ Styles and Kevin Owens. I think this battle pack comes with, like, the new U.S. Championship, which is crazy, because this is from their, like, 2017 feud, right? But nonetheless, it's, it's okay. I don't even think that KO shirt's accurate, but... I mean, it's a throwback pack, which is kind of unique, but I guess, you know, it is what it is. And then we also had Shawn Michaels and British Bulldog, which apparently is a two-pack, which is very cool. I'm excited to see what that Shawn Michaels head sculpt looks like and exactly what this looks like. But, I mean, dude, these are just... I can already imagine, like, some of the posability we're going to get out of these, but I think I need to pre-order at least a few of the first round of basics so we can find out what the... So we can find out exactly what these guys are going to be like, man. You know, we got to get the diagnosis on these basic figures. Next up, we have Ronda Rousey and Liv Morgan. Very good-looking Liv Morgan. It'll probably be very flat, though. That's the thing about basics is the deco's pretty flat. Not, it lacks, like, sculpt and, you know, a lot of paint detail. But the head sculpt looks good. Hopefully, this two-pack won't be crazy. We have Brock Lesnar here. We already saw this figure. Pretty, eh. It's got, like, that sleepy head sculpt. Here's the rock. Pretty standard rock figure. Not anything over the top. I feel like we've seen the same rock figure so many times before. We have the Bianca Belair. We already kind of saw this one. We discussed it. It's kind of, it's a bit flat. Hair looks a bit weird, too, in the, in the case there. We have the LA Knight, who is also the chase. You have the yellow version and the red version, which is pretty cool. I like to see LA Knight get two figures here. He also has an Elite coming in WWE Elite Series 108. Uh, very good looking basic, though. You know, I know a lot of people are going to definitely be grabbing this one. The Iridescent Suit Seth Rollins looks pretty good here in the render image. It looks a bit weird compared to the real life image, but it looks okay. I'm definitely going to be grabbing this one if possible. Very unique looking figure. It looked great on display. The pictures didn't really do it justice, but I am interested to have this one in hand and see exactly what it looks like at different angles and stuff. And then we also have the throwback Hogan, which is interesting with his long tights. Very cool basic right here. I saw a lot of people that collect flashbacks. Very excited about this one. We have the Undertaker with the screaming head sculpt. Saw this one in the case as well. We have Charlotte in the black. I think she was getting hoisted over Bianca Belair's head in the case. Uh, decent little basic, you know, not anything immaculate. Again, just the... The lack of detail or the lack of sculpt on the basics with just like some flat deco makes them look a bit plain Jane, but hopefully the articulation will add to these. We also have Top Dalla and the rest of Hit Row actually in this uh, in this set here, which is pretty cool there. They showed off a lot of basics, man. They really did. And, like these look pretty detailed for what we have here, so we'll have to see about these, but I'm excited to get, you know, some new characters into the line there, even though I'm not a fan of the, of the pairing. We also have Honky Tonk Man. He's got the chase in there. We've seen this basic before. I'm pretty sure we've seen both these basics before, but there they are with Honky Tonk Man. We also have Cody Rhodes here, which look pretty good. I'm excited to see this one as well. Hopefully the head sculpt will be the defining moments head sculpt, so I can get some more copies of that head sculpt, but there is Cody Rhodes. This John Cena basic actually looks damn good, man. This this is actually one that I may get. Uh, you know, we don't have this in elite figure form. Really wish they could have plugged this in the top talents line instead of giving us the Elite 95 Cena just redone, but it's still cool. I definitely will be grabbing this basic. You know, I hope that the head sculpt hat is not over size like we saw in that previous basic, but we will have to see. But I do like this new shirt mold and stuff. I just hope that, you know, the figure comes out nice. And he also has, like, the salute hand or the you can't see me hand, which is cool. We have Becky Lynch here kind of playing Jane with the black and silver attire. Nothing too immaculate on that one. We also have Mr. T, who has a pair of basics, which are very similar. They're definitely stretching out on this on the Mr. T, man. You got the short sleeve version, and you do have the long sleeve version, and they have two different sets of pants there. I swear to God, they've covered every Mr. T look. There's no possible way that this man has any other looks left in WWE, unless I'm just mistaken, but they have definitely gotten their usage out of Mr. T and those molds. We have this Rey Mysterio 
in the t-shirt, which looks cool. Really wish. This reminds me of the Fan Takeover Ultimate that we're not going to be getting, even though it was like an army green. The tattoo deco and the shirt here looks really good, even though the head sculpt looks a bit weird. I still like this figure. Uh, I don't know. I guess it's going to depend on how it comes out in final, you know, in final rendition, but it looks okay here in the render shot. We also have Dominic, who is cool. Of course, his Elite is going to be much better, but this is a pretty cool Dominic. Got the shirt on there. Not anything immaculate over the top. I'm just, like, you remember how we used to be, like, just completely ignoring basics? I feel like you kind of have to pay attention now with the newness. And, you know, that remains to completely be seen because we do need to have them in hand, see what they feel like, all those different things. But you can't really ignore them right now because we, we got to see what these new basics are all about. But we also have Karrion Cross with his new haircut. You know, kind of an afterthought. I've never been a real big Karrion Cross guy, as you guys know. But it is, you know, a new look of Karrion Cross. If you guys are interested, maybe you can put that head sculpt on his elite figures. I know people are going to probably want to fix that figure up. We have a couple of those. And then we also have two different versions of Ultimate Warrior here in the yellow. Very unique looks of Warrior. I feel like, I don't think we've ever seen these looks specifically. So these are pretty cool looks of Warrior. And they look to be pretty good head sculpts there. So those are also nice. But yeah, man, I wanted to get on here and discuss these basic figures because I felt like, you know, it definitely deserved its own video because this is a huge change, I think. Like, I mean, we are in living in a, a crazy time now. And we had to talk about the new influx of basics here with this new articulation and what they mean. And like, I truly think that we're onto something great right here because basics just are going to have just a much better life, man. Like, you're going to pull that basic out and be like, oh, damn, I can actually pose this guy around a little bit. And it's not going to be just so lifeless and stiff. And again, the deco is not always going to be the greatest, but you can still get some really good basics out of this. You guys remember the Firefly Funhouse Bray? Imagine if the Firefly Funhouse Bray with the sweater vest, imagine if that figure didn't have the stiff legs and it had this new articulation man how great would that basic be even though that basics as good as it is so i mean there's just some different things there but i wanted to get on here discuss these talk about it and everything like that man but that is pretty much going to wrap up today's video man hope you guys did enjoy i'd love to know your thoughts on the new basics if you guys think i should review the new stuff and see what these new basics are all about. I'd greatly appreciate it, man. But that is going to wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'd love to know your thoughts on all these things down below. Huge shout-out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Huge shout-out to those guys. Always appreciate those guys for their continued support. If you guys are interested in becoming patron members yourselves, definitely click the link in the description below and check it out. But that is going to wrap up today's video, man. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my name, Toys. I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Should have, like... Sort of an interesting video coming in the next few days because we have to, um, I'm in the process of like packing up the office and moving the office and stuff like that. So we should have some uh, like some different things going on like showcasing the new office and what we should be expecting and things like that. So stay tuned guys, but I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one and I'll catch you later. We'll never back down.